Hey, what's going on, everyone? Matt Jarbo here with Three Buck Theater. And, you know, I am a gigantic fan of Naughty Dog's The Last of Us. It was the swan song for the PlayStation 3 and one of the better PlayStation 4 games, even though it is nearly six years old at this point and has a very loyal and dedicated multiplayer audience who has kept it going for the past six years, complete with a few really terrible microtransactions, one stupid pay to win mode, uh, and uh, no updates or new maps in years. The fans love it, and the fans really keep around for that kind of thing, and it's just a great game overall, so I want to get done pimping that. So, all the way back in 2014, March 2014, actually, six years ago tomorrow, Deadline dropped this article, Screen Gems to Take on Sony PlayStation Video Game Adaptation, The Last of Us. That's right, Screen Gems, along with Sam Raimi, was going to tackle The Last of Us in movie form. They announced this six years ago. I was at Comic-Con 2014 in the room when they made the announcement on stage with Sam Raimi and Neil Druckmann. And this was right before the, the HD remaster of The Last of Us was coming out on the PS4. I think like the next week or something. So a lot of people have been waiting and waiting and waiting. And for the past couple of years, it's just laid at a standstill. In fact, the last I saw of it in 2016, Sam Raimi said it's on hold. And this probably had everything to do with Naughty Dog deciding deciding to tackle The Last of Us Part 2. So today, of all things, just randomly today, we got a couple big PlayStation announcements, one of which is The Ghost of Tsushima is coming out in June, randomly three months away, go figure, and The Last of Us series is in the works at HBO from Chernobyl creator Craig Mazin with Neil Druckmann. So think about this, right? So the guy behind Chernobyl, which is one of the darkest and dreariest HBO limited event series ever made. I mean, the scene with the dog, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was that was that was pretty terrible. Um, you know, it's uh, uh, that yeah, bleak, terrible world, right? Well, The Last of Us is a bleak and terrible world. And the fact that it's coming as a TV series as a TV adaptation is going to be pretty cool. This is what it says. Mazin and Druckmann will write and executive produce the adaptation of the Sony PlayStation video game. Uh, Mazin, who is a creator of the acclaimed limited series Chernobyl, is reteaming with HBO to adapt The Last of Us, the massive Sony PlayStation video game franchise. In a rare development in the world of video game adaptations, the writer and creative director of the game, Neil Druckmann, is also involved and will work with Mazin to pen and executive produce what is intended to be a series. A series. Check that out. That's not a limited event series, although it still could be, but they are saying a series. Okay, a series. That is something that is fantastic. Now, this is still right now in the early stages of development. There's no other information that is uh, that is really available right now. What Druckmann said on Twitter was that they are working towards uh, finishing up The Last of Us Part 2, which does come out here in the next couple months. I forget the uh, May 29th, 2020. Sorry, it just says here in the article. So May 29th, 2020 is The Last of Us Part 2. Then literally four weeks later is Ghost of Tsushima. Jesus, man, Sony, you want my money. I get it. You want my money. You're going to get my damn money. That's just that's just the way that it is. Um, there we go. Okay. Then it becomes a question of what exactly are they going to be adapting? Now, Neil Druckmann has said that they don't he that when he was working on this originally with Screen Gems, that he didn't want it to just be a straight adaptation, that it was going to be a bit more. And I think it will be a bit more. I mean, if there, this is not going to be a movie. This is going to be a series. And while the show or while the game itself takes place over the span of one year during the four different chapters being the four different seasons, as we get Joel and Ellie's story and as it unfolds, as they travel across the country and interact with both friend and foe, as well as the infected, we get to see, uh, I think we're going to get a lot more of the world around them. And since the world is so dark and so dreary and so bleak, especially with raiders and, and, and with the military types and the fireflies and everything else, whatever happens in this show is going to be dark and twisted as hell. And I am there for it. You guys have like no idea. As soon as I heard this news, I was 
frantically searching for the stop stop I can only get so erect meme because I have been a long 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 time fan of this franchise ever since I first played it at my last E3 which was in 2013 right before the game itself came out and I own this game on both the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 and if they re-release it on the PS5 and it's not backwards compatible I will probably pick it up on the PS5 I do think it's going to be backwards compatible though that's all I'm saying on that one but I love The Last of Us. So here's here's just off the top of my head some fan casting that I would be thinking about. So Joel and Ellie. Who could play Joel? Who could play Ellie? Uh, right now, the, the the main consensus going around on Twitter, the main top pick would be Hugh Jackman. And all things considered, I think that is a very good choice. I think he would be able to play Joel very well. He would have that dark, brooding, gruff exterior that could be used uh, to really kind of showcase the emotion that goes into Joel's character. Troy Baker did a fantastic job. My God, did he do a fantastic job. But Troy Baker himself could even potentially play Joel, considering at this point, one could argue that they are very very close in age at this point in time. You put a little little duster in his hair, you gray him up a little bit, and he could be Joel. And if he played Joel on the big screen or on, on the TV, I would be there for it as well. But that probably isn't going to happen. And Hugh Jackman being in a TV series may not be his thing. A limited event series is one thing but maybe not doing the full thing. And if they are going to be doing a big Hollywood actor, my pick actually goes towards Josh Brolin. I think Brolin could really bring that intensity, like the real steely eyed intensity that we would get to see in Joel. And I think he would be excellent casting. Uh, when it comes to uh, to, to Marlene, uh, I mean, Kerry Washington comes to mind a little bit, um, but also like uh, who else would be really good in that role? There's, I, I think honestly, as weird as it's going to seem, Jada Pinkett Smith as Marlene, I think could, could play, could 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 do the emotional vulnerability uh, that we see from her character in the beginning and the end of the game uh, because of what has to happen. And I do hope they do adapt the main game uh, all the way through the story. Uh, who could play David? That's that's going to be you know actually Troy Baker as David would be I think would probably be better overall. Uh, David was voiced by Nolan North in the game, and and I love Nolan North in that game. So I think that'd be very interesting. Um, also, perhaps maybe even Nathan Fillion for uh, for Joel. I know that's a little bit of a weird one. It's a bit of an out there one. Uh, so there's that. But when it comes to, let's say, uh, the other person, the other the other half of this duo, who could play Ellie? Who could play Ellie? And at this point, I am quite literally boiling down to two actresses. Um, now you've got Maisie Williams, who was in actual talks six years ago to play Ellie in the movie. Six years ago, she was in talks. She had mentioned this at Comic-Con. They were talking about it, and then it all fell through. So it's been six years. She's not a teenager anymore, but she still looks tiny, and I think they could make her look young enough to play the part, and I still think she would do a great job showcasing the emotional vulnerability of Ellie as she navigates this tumultuous world, especially while trying to get to safety with Joel and the back and forth. Because kind of think of like the hound in her dynamic from season three of Game of Thrones. And that's uh, in essence, the beginning of what this was, right? I do love her and the hound, how they came together uh, in the show. And I think it kind of was a bit um, of what this could be, but the other person, and again, this might be a little bit too old of a choice, but I still think she would be a fantastic choice. And the one that if I had to bank money on right now, it would probably be her would be Caitlin Dever. Now, Caitlin Dever was most, most famously known for playing Tim Allen's daughter on last man standing the youngest daughter, Eve. She also was in the movie book smart from last year that ended up getting a lot of praise. Uh, and I think winning a couple awards here and there. Um, and she's been one of my favorite actors, young actress for a while. I love her as Eve in uh, in Last Man Standing, but she also voiced and did the mocap of Nathan Drake's daughter in the epilogue of um, what's it called of, of Uncharted 4, which came out four years ago. So she's already kind of on Neil Druckmann's radar. She's I don't want necessarily want to say age appropriate, but she is kind of body type appropriate and she knows how to give the sayus. and Ellie's character gives the sayus. And so I'm down. I am down for that. I'm down for whatever they want to do. Give me this damn show. Uh, we're getting the Uncharted movie filming here pretty soon. So it does make sense that this particular announcement would be coming. I hope it doesn't get shelved for another six years. I hope I'm not sitting here at the ripe age of 44 years old. I'm not 44. I turned 38 in a couple weeks, but I'll be around 44 going, I just want to see the goddamn movie. You know what I mean? At that point, it would have been, it would have been so freaking long 
right? It would have been so freaking long, nearly a decade and a half and whatever. But uh, I'm really excited for this. And that could lead into adapting uh the the that could that could they could adapt the um what was the the the, the prequel dlc for the game and whatever they're going to be doing story-wise with the last of us part two which does come out here pretty soon so you could tell as soon as that stuff drops uh they're probably gonna uh, Druckmann's probably gonna uh, f off to go and work on uh the last of us show and again with craig manzen uh, there's a thing with there too I, I i can't find the tweet right now but i saw this tweeted out earlier uh last year someone asked manzen on twitter if he was a fan of the last of us and he said i'm a huge fan of the game and then that guy said adapt it <laughs> and then here we are like you know a few months later and it's like oh hey this news happened so people are calling that dude a hero uh, i'm calling him clairvoyant as hell but we'll have to wait and see again i'm, I'm excited for this uh, i will be getting i will be playing the last of us part two i might be streaming a bit of it if you guys want to see that i don't know how many of you would but whatever and uh, we'll talk again soon thank you guys for watching please be sure to leave your favorite actor who you want to see take over their role are you as excited as me or am i just blowing this up because i'm a huge you know fanboy of this i don't know i want to hear your thoughts i'll talk to you all later have yourself a great day and peace out